Hello everyone and welcome to this very short video tutorial from visualnights.com. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a DNA or molecular chain in 3ds Max. It's a really easy tutorial and we're done in a few seconds and the result will actually be uh, looking something like this as you can see here. So let's get started. Let's create a plane, a very long plane. I'm going to set the uh, length to 600 and the width to 40. Okay. Switch to grid view by pressing F3 on your keyboard. I'm going to set the width, oh sorry, to 0 and I'm going to set the length settling segment to 12. Once we've done that, go to the modifier list and apply the lattice modifier, okay, turning the wireframe back out. Um, as you can see we have a radius of 2 here, that's, that's good, but we're going to set the segments to 12 and also the sides to 12, which will result in these um, cylinders between every junction, that they will become a little bit more round, and you can change that of course in the way whatever you want. Now for every um, intersection you have this object here which is in this case called an octa but we're going to use an icosa for more rounder effect and we can set this to 16 oh sorry that's the size uh, I meant 3 and the segments is going to be set to 16 I'm going to make the radius a little bit smaller here looks a bit more realistic okay and all the only thing left to do here is just apply a twist modifier and depending on how you created this plane you need to apply the twist on one of the axes here. I'm going to use the Y axis and if I change the angle here I can change to a very can change this plane into a very fast creating DNA string or mole, molecular string. Well that's about it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and goodbye.